Hi everyone. Today I would like to show you uh, Udo ERP. We will talk about point of sale, inventory module, purchase module, and sales module. So uh, this one is the dashboard of Udo. Uh, particularly, I am showing you the demo for uh, general trading company. They require uh, ERP system to to manage their accounting, inventory, sales, and purchase. So for them, the Udo ERP is the best solution uh, we can configure. So let me let me show you uh, all the modules, the, the core modules, which is inventory, purchase, sales, and point of sales, which they are going to use. So I'd like to show you how it will function. Let's start with inventory we have to have a product for sale right without item we cannot sell so uh, under the inventory module we have an option called products let's create a product now there are two ways to create a product uh, one by clicking on new button which is manually the another option is under this uh, action button there is option import records if we have a more than 100 records, 1000 records, all together we can import at a time. For example, if we are switching one software to another software, we are transferring our product from uh, one software to Udo ERP, that time we can use. Uh, so, so it's very important option. But uh, for now, for this example, we are going to, I'll show you how to create manually. So let's create a product, let's say, Chanadal, yeah. Uh, product type. Make sure to select storable products because we are going to maintain uh, an inventory for this Chanadal. Uh, make sure always that uh, if any product or any item, uh, if you have to maintain the inventory, this storable product it has to be selected yeah now uh, another important option uh, unit of measure uh, bag <coughs> because we will uh, we will receive a chanadal in bag 5 kg bag 2 kg bag it's like that so u o m so bag and the sales price let's say 100 gram cost 50 gram for example we can set a barcode we will talk about it later on in my next video yeah then this is general information then another tab sales here we can see uh, this important option if we are going to use POS point of sales for the retail business obviously uh, we have to use the POS so Take this one. Why? Because uh, if this one is unticked, we will not have this Chanadal appear on our POS machine. So to make it appear, uh, obviously we have to select this button. Always, yeah. We have to tick this one. Then click on uh, the another option. We have a purchase yeah, inventory. Inventory here we can. Let's say we need this Chanadal uh, 5 kg. The weight of this bag will be 5 kg. Yeah. And uh, this is accounting. We will cover this other option uh, in uh, my next video when we talk about accounting and into detail about inventory and purchase. Yeah. So for now, uh, click on update quantity. Let it be zero. Don't uh, put anything. I will show you by uh, you know ordering yeah, we will order to our, our vendor so just click on apply and now let's go to I will show you the purchase we are going to purchase this uh, particular item <coughs> so that uh, 
to it will update our inventory for now uh, one second let me show you inventory report stock uh, chanadal we had one chanadal but we are talking about this one particularly uh, it's a zero yeah so now let's order to our vendor go to purchase module click on new <coughs> uh, let's say this all are existing vendor you can select if it is existing vendor otherwise you can create a new one vendor abc1 create it's very easy user friendly yeah so we are ordering what uh, Janadal yeah this one Janadal no not this one this is I already I created uh, we have two Janadal so yeah this one the unit price is uh, 50 gram the purchase price now we need 10 bags of 5 kg just for my reference I'm we can put 5 kg Chanada 50 gram the by default 5 percent uh, VAT we have in UAE so we have set up uh, it's automatically you know pop up if you sel select country UAE you will have 5 percent yeah and that's it now let's we can send this uh, quotation by email or we can print and submit so in this scenario just I would like to confirm let's click on confirm order order has been confirmed uh, we have option for create bill we will do it later on we will cover this in accounting module so now you see the vehicle the when icon here it means we are receiving the, the items yeah so click on this button the warehouse supervisor will do that uh, they will uh, procurement team they will uh, per, uh, create the purchase order and the warehouse team supervise they will validate this product they will double check once the vehicle will come with the product they will double check everything is up to the mark if okay then they will validate to do that click on this validate button and uh, once they validate uh, it means we receive the we receive the item in our warehouse yeah let's check click on inventory <coughs> report stock <coughs> so now we have a chana dal on hand 10 bags yeah this one particularly i'm talking about okay so uh, we created product we order the product product uh, we received in our warehouse it's uh, reflected in our inventory now let's sell this product I have a customer uh, who want five bags of chana dal so let's say let's go to point of sales this is the screen dashboard of point of sales we have various option now shop uh, let's open the register to start with we have to click on open the register opening cash we have 525 dirham in our uh, in our uh, drawer yeah so i will i will start with the zero open session let's start with the zero janadal uh, which one this one yeah because we have a two chanadal it's making me confused but no worries uh, we will try both let's try both uh, this one they need five eggs and uh, the another category they also need let's say two bags 
So total bill is 546 dirham. Let's put another item. Let's say they need rice also. So let's see. So they need two bags of rice. So total bill is 861 dirham. The customer uh, we can if this is the list of the customer exam customer we can select if this one is a new customer if you want to put their name you can you can create the new customer test customer seven select it you can see the name over here and then click on payment total bill is 861 dirham customer is paying by cash customer given me 1000 dirham not and now here you see the change 139 dirham we have to return everything seems okay then click on validate here we go payment successful this one you see here right inside this is the receipt we have to give to customer we can send it by uh, email as well or you can print and give it to the customer yeah then go to the new order so that's how the POS uh, the point of sales uh, module we can use now let let's see the effect in our inventory module so to reflect this uh, uh, this cells in our inventory we need to close the register click on close now expected cash we have to have 861 dirham in our drawer right we have started with zero so yes we have it if it's matching just put uh, 861 so let's say these are the the currency note let's say we have 800 then we have 50 dirham we have 10 dirham and we have 1 dirham coin and then click on confirm if there is no difference everything seems fine now click on close uh, register end of the day we gonna close the register now let's go and check our inventory report click on stock uh, here we go we had 10 bags of chana dal now we have 5 bags yeah uh, you can see the history over here uh, we created product uh, we order from the vendor 10 bags and we sold that product to our customer five bags so that's how this whole process works hope it will uh, uh, you understood if you have any questions you can comment to me I, I given my number my email ID you can you can reach me out so this is the basic module we today going through inventory POS and purchase in my next video we will go through accounting module and few other more options we'll try to learn more yeah thank you so much